I'm sitting on my lap, baby. I think I look kind of dumb sitting on your lap, though, no? It's like... You think you got a choice? Hi, I'm Drake, and I'll Smile. be- Smile. sitting on my lap, baby. Yeah, no, I had to link with Wizzle. Everybody, everybody wants to have drinks, and everybody wants to celebrate and turn up. And, you know, I just had to see Wizzle. I had to see Wizzle in person, you know? If it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be no me, and that's why I'm on. You know the rest. That's why I'm going to rock with y'all forevermore. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. So as you guys know, I dropped a video on March 13th basically exposing Drake. Because Drake is just a character. And right now, Tyler Lepley is one of the people playing Drake. And four days after I dropped this video on March 17th, the Shade Room posted a picture of Tyler basically saying that he looks like Drake. They're basically putting it right in our face, but they're also doing damage control for the people that don't know about it. So here's the video that Tyler posted. And then I'll show you guys the shade room post. So this is mockery, but they're also doing damage control because a lot of people don't even know who Tyler Lepley is. So they want the average person to hear about him through this post rather than my video. And it looks like they have a hashtag of damage control. It's basically called the Shade Room Celebrity Lookalikes. So they're basically trying to make it seem like, oh, they just look alike, but they don't want people to see my video where I said that they're the same person and that Tyler Lepley is playing the role of Drake. That's why I made a comment and I said Tyler Lepley plays the role of Drake. I just made a video about this. And shout out to everybody who liked my comment and was sharing this video. In the caption, they said, at this point, Tyler Lepley should just put the heart design in his head too. And then they said, hashtag, it's a double Drake, or is it a double Tyler? So that was interesting to me because if you guys remember in my video, I showed an interview where they asked Tyler Lepley if he wants to be a double for Drake. Oh, oh, so you mean your family family? My mom and dad, yeah. Dad, yeah. So tell me now, a lot of people say they kind of... um compare you to um omari hardwick mm -hmm. hardwick and drake so do you ever feel like you know you could be a body double do you um yeah you know what i've i've i've, I've heard the uh the physical comparison um i don't think i look like them but uh you know well maybe i hope maybe i can get their bank account one day that'd be straight and then of course tyler lepley posted it on his story and he just put a laughing emoji so it's obvious that they saw my video and they planned this together to try to do some damage control and it's crazy because there was so much damage control. You know, there's this other video going viral right now of a dude comparing a bunch of lookalikes to Drake. Like, isn't that a crazy coincidence that all this stuff is happening right after I dropped my video exposing him? Normal people who look exactly like Drake. It must be nice looking like a Canadian sex symbol. Right here we got Ecuadorian Drake taking a bathroom selfie right after his shift at Dick's Sporting Goods. You already know Marvin's room playing off the speaker of his phone. We got a little baby Drake breaking hearts on the dance floor, hitting the same pose from the No New Friends video. Look at this shit. Kid looks more like Drake's son than Drake's son. Right here we got White Drake, who will sing the panties off your girl and foul the shit out of your taxes. And right here we got Emo Drake. This is just what Drake looked like when he was in the studio recording I Get Lonely Too, and I Hate Sleeping Alone. Of course we got Weirdo Drake. Looks like if Drake and Robin Lopez had an emotionally deranged Twitch streamer's son who's been stream sniped one too many times, and he's about to fucking lose it. We got these two girls taking a beach pic with great value, Drizzy, thinking that the next album was gonna be about them. They weren't the only ones who thought they were getting a ride on air Drake, though. These two girls really had the confidence to throw this up on Twitter. Shout out Gino the Ghost for doing the Lord's work and keeping these girls humble though. And finally, we got knockoff Drizzy. You can cop this Drizzy down on Canal Street. No so both of those videos went viral like three days after my video and it can't be a coincidence, you know what I mean? Because they're trying to make it seem like, oh, it's just a lot of people that happen to look like Drake. But they don't want you guys to know the truth that Tyler Lepley is playing the role of Drake.
And it's so obvious, you know, I showed this picture of the champagne and a lot of people were saying that, oh, it might just be a coincidence because a lot of people have a picture with champagne. But no, I did more research and I found out that he's actually sponsored by that champagne company. And on top of that, he made a Drake reference in his song. She call me Bobby Sippin' Champagne. She call me Bobby Sippin' Champagne. So what a coincidence, right? He just happens to make a reference to Drake's username on Instagram. And I also showed you guys another interview in my other Drake video. And I caught something that I didn't notice in the last video. Like, you know, the script is mine to tell. You know what I'm saying? So it's right. like, you know, I, gotta, I, have to, I have to articulate it fully, you know, from zero to 100. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, you know, the script is mine to tell. You know what I'm saying? So it's right. like, you know, I, gotta, I, have to, I have to articulate it fully, you know, from zero to 100. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... He said, I have to articulate it fully from zero to 100. So what a coincidence that Drake happens to have a song called Zero to 100. And a lot of people don't know this, but this owl that Drake uses is actually the Moloch from the Bohemian Grove. The elites have an event like once a year at the Bohemian Grove in California, where they basically do some sacrifices to the owl statue, which basically symbolizes the Moloch idol. And this is the symbol that they use, which is exactly like Drake's. And this owl is also on the dollar bill. All right, so this is a picture of Tyler Lepley, and it looks exactly like Drake. So I'm going to just show you guys a couple more pictures so you guys can see that they're the same person. You know, like I always say, go do your own research because you might not see it with my video. You know, you might have to go look at more pictures on your own and, you know, you might find some things that I didn't even notice. And if you guys find any more evidence that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to send it to me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is in the description below. But yeah, they look very similar, you know what I mean? And and they're not just lookalikes, like how the Shade Room is trying to say it. And of course, Drake is always covering one eye. And also, I don't know why everybody forgot about this, but Drake's son looks nothing like him. And something I didn't mention in my last Drake video, Drake doesn't write anything. Daylight was Drake's ghostwriter, and he wrote most of the songs that you heard on the radio. But of course, Drake didn't give him the credit. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys a song where Daylight exposed him for that. Because Drake used to follow Daylight on Instagram. But Drake unfollowed him after he exposed him. So that goes to show you that it was true. You know what I mean? And, and shout out to Daylight because he posted two of my mask videos. This one is from December. And, and yesterday, he shared my new video on his story. So shout out to him. Because that brought a lot of attention to my post. And it woke up a lot of people. So if you guys want to see this video, go to my Instagram. I'm going to put a link in the description below. And right now, I'm following everybody back who shares my video. That way, we could wake up a lot of people. And I'm reposting everybody who tags me in their video. I appreciate everybody who's been posting it because it's getting a lot of attention right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications.